Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky. In today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a new planet. Before we do that, I want to head to the Nexus real quick. So let's take off here. Um, let's head into the Nexus real quick. And I want to do a couple things before we uh, come back to the sector. So let's call in the Nexus real quick. Let's get this portion of the portion done. Um, in my exosuit right now, I have 90, 120, 100 and almost, almost 200 and something salvage data that I want to turn in to the Nexus. So we're going to do that in today's episode. We're going to unlock um, a lot of stuff. We're going to go back to the base computer and look at the archives and see what it says and then maybe in the upcoming episodes what we'll do is we'll work on the Artemis quest but I've already done that before and it's really the same thing um so I don't know if I want to redo it again I don't know we'll see I might voice out the um whole thing but we're doing pretty good. Um, thanks for all the support over the past videos here, you guys. You guys are amazing, as always. What kind of multi-tool you have here? Let's see, your multi-tools need to be upgraded, bro. Mm-hmm. He's ignoring me. There you go. Uh, now he's apologizing. Okay, let's talk to you. Yes, multi-tools. Yes, so many multi-tools. Make them better, faster, make them more research. You know what? What else is there to research in here? Wait for less land. The rays arranged in a highly calibrated matrix, focusing the mining beam on an atomic level. Extra precision allows for highly efficient mining elements are extracted more efficiently increases the yields from items harvested with the multi-tool. Oh. Okay, what do we need to... Quantum computers. Okay. It's all doable. Oh. Huh. Glass. We might build this one and this one. Plus 50%. Yeah, we need quantum computers, solar mirrors, and wiring looms. Wiring looms I'm not worried about. All the other stuff I'm not worried about either. Um, That's not what we came here for. Did I get the backpack upgrade here? No? Okay. Grab the backpack upgrade, shall we? Got three more to go. And we'll have that maxed out. Okay, so I want to build a base, right? And I've unlocked all the cuboid stuff, because that's usually what I like to build my base out of. Um, an atmospheric house booster. An oxygen harvester. Let's unlock that. And unlock, um, that. How many do we have? We have 236 to spend. Hmm. Let's get the health machine. And the protection screen. That's all I want to buy in there. We're going to learn that. We're going to learn that. Um... Demon mixer. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. 
think we want to start unlocking the yellow stuff. I don't think you get this stuff for free. You know what? I know we get all the vaults later, but I want them all right now. I know you get them through the base computer, but, uh... We'll do. Okay, so all the vaults are unlocked. Let's start unlocking building pieces here. We have 166 more to go, huh? Okay, let's just unlock it all. I can always get more salvage data. Might as well start unlocking it all. And last but not least, okay, that's all in that section, right? Yep, 123 left to go. Let's unlock all the technology. Livestock, a robotic farming unit designed to automatically harvest substance from creatures requires power. Creatures that are ready to be harvested for milk and eggs or other specially produce will approach the livestock unit and deposit their yield. The creatures are unharmed by the process. Will harvest produ produced from creatures fed by hand or via an automated feeder. Huh. I don't think the automated feeder works properly. To tell you the truth, a robotic farming unit designed to automatically supply nearby creatures with food. When powered, will attract nearby animal life, keep eight tanks full in order to supply life forms with desired foods. I don't think that actually works, to tell you the truth. So we have all that light box, light floor, noise box, a special construction model designed to emit a high frequency noise pitch may be adjusted to the user's requirements. And it costs 10? Why would anybody do that? Oh, whatever. Grab it. Advanced cabling designed to link one of the more BB generators or to connect a BB switch to the network. Huh. Whatever. Well, uh, that one's all unlocked. We start unlocking the vehicles. Got 59 left. Hmm. Oh, we spent a lot of them really quickly. I don't think you get the decals unlocked through the, um... These are just purely decorative items. But I know some of these are not decorative. They actually refill with materials. Which one is it? Let me spend some nanites on that. There's lights that we can put in the base. Okay, 
I'm looking for a certain thing here, everyone. So give me a second. Let me scroll through this real quick. Yeah, let's just start unlocking the vehicles. What's that? Exo summoning station. Yeah. Uranium. Unstable plasma. Okay. Race indicator. An orbital exocraft materializer. Chuck allows the user to summon any own exocraft while in the same system as their freighter. That sounds cool. We have 27 left. There was something I wanted to unlock here. Um, where is it? There's containers that are decorative. That, uh... That are lootable. You can loot them over time. I don't see them in this one. Is it this one? Whatever, let's unlock some lights. Um, what is this? Lamp? Lab lamp. Table lamp. Or light. Let's do the white light. Healing light. 24 left. Let's try the lights out here. We can always go get more, uh, salvage data if we run out of... Established data. We have 19 left. Grab this real quick. Ground lamp. Light post. Pink light, blue light, so we have seven left after unlocking all the lights, huh? Okay. Wall switch. Which required power and signal wires to control a device. Hmm. Yeah, let's unlock it. We have five points left, so let's unlock the rest of the electrical components here. And then that'll be done and out of the way. Okay, so all the electrical parts are on the thing. The, I have one salvage data left. Let's unlock that. Okay, that's all my points. So that should have filled up quite a bit of inventory room here. Yeah, look at that, all that inventory room. Okay. As it goes through everything that I just purchased here. Okay, let's get down to the uh, next planet and see what we can do. Save the game real quick. Or this is going through its thing here. I wish it didn't do that, but it did, it's doing it anyways. Okay, so where's our next planet at? Next planet is that away. Wow, 
Finally, that thing actually stopped. Okay, so what's on this planet? Aggressive Sentinels. Hmm. Let's do it. How hard can it be? Did I actually stop by the space station and sell some stuff? What is that? Oh, I have a dioxide base here. Interesting. Let's head to the planet. We got enough space to do some stuff. I don't know how many creatures are on this planet here. Since it's a highly hostile planet, we'll be running away from sentinels constantly. Should be fun. As long as it isn't too healy. This is only going to have one creature on it. Okay. Because this is a specialty planet. Um, hmm, interesting. Well, I guess we pick a place to land, and hopefully there's no sentinels. And we'll scan this one creature that's here. Okay, first contact, great. I don't plan on sticking around very long, lady. Um, X. So we're up to B5. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's get this scan in here. Where a sentinel comes and finds us. Gravitino balls. I wonder why they're so angry. There's gravitino balls on this area. Okay, so how many planets? There's only one species on here. It's right there. So there's one right there to scan. Or is that a rock? It's a rock. Um, I don't want to stray too far away from my ship. But I'm glad there's only one creature on this planet. There it is right there. Cool looking. There we go. And a couple of this stuff here while we're here. Is there any caves here? There's the other creature right there. The glitch separator. Tab. Hmm. Not to have escape. Oh, he's worth 250 nanites. And only one creature. Okay, let's take off before the uh, sentinels get whip of us being here. Okay, easiest planet ever. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Okay, we have one more planet to go to. Get out into space and figure out which planet that is, though. Um warp out here a little ways so I can see the planets. Yeah, that should be far enough. Okay, so... You've discovered that. Storm B2. B5. B3. Okay. If I'm getting this right, the other planet is on the other side of this rock here. What's that one? Can't tell. 
there's planet on on the other side of this um, area here. Have we been to this one? Nope. I think that's the last one. It's close to the space station, so let's go to the space station real quick. And I'm going to show you um, how much money I make off my activated indium farm. So what we're going to do is we're going to go pick up the activated indium. I probably should clean out my inventory too while I'm there. Get rid of some of this junk. And figure out what I want to sell and what I want to keep. Oh, I'll stop out of orbit for you. Come on. Bring it on. Good. Where are you? Where? Um, that's not fair game. Combat in this game is funny. That it? Okay. <laughs> one pirate and that was it, huh? Couldn't send more than one, huh? Really don't like how those freighters pop into existence. They make the game shake and they're really loud in my headset. I mean, we don't need any navigational data. Actually, let's, we can sell quite a bit of stuff and we can get rid of some of the stuff. So let's go over here real quick. Do I have any storage augmentation? Okay, game. I got you. I want that too. I need wiring looms, solar mirrors, and computer, quantum computers. Everything of that is viable. I already bought that. Tell me what you have, buddy. Life support modular. Green life support upgrade is extremely powerful upgrade for the life support system. Use E to begin upgrade installation process. The modular is flexible and exact upgrade statistics are unknown. Un so, uh, hmm. That is really tempting. We already got thermal protection. Life support protection. Yeah, let's buy it. And let's sell the toxic protection. Make sure we don't sell the life supports. Okay, that should have freed up quite a bit of room. Okay. Um. More navigation. Alright, I got it. Okay. Um. Hmm. What kind of multi-tool do you have in here? Eh, it's an A-Class 24. Reminds me, I have some inventory slots to add to this machine. Because, uh... Install multi-tool extension slot. Thought I had more than one. Yeah, I got another one. Okay, so now we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we're two slots away from getting a, a full multi-tool. Um, solar mirrors and wire looms, okay. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to think of... I can get the wiring looms from these guys. I think it was three wiring looms. No, not 160. Three. Right? It was three. 
Five wiring limbs. I need two more, buddy. Yeah. You have two more wiring looms to uh, give me. Okay, so we can throw the uh, wiring looms in. Okay, so if you're wondering where to find quantum computers and whatnot, I'll show you where to get them. Let me look and see if there's a dead guy up here. There is, of course. We've already been to him, probably. Let's sell some stuff here real quick. Now I can get star bulb all day long. I can get radon and all that all day long. Don't need the Corvex cube. Keeping all that. We're keeping all that. Keeping all that. Only one storm crystal. Hmm. Run away mold. I can sell a little bit of marable. Vortex cubes can go. That's I can go. Keep the visceral goo. I don't need 14 salt. I don't need the Gek Relic. I don't need the Viking Effigy. Okay, what'd that do to our inventory? Okay, a lot of stuff to drop off in the vaults. How's our starship going? Yeah, a lot of stuff to drop off into the uh, vaults. That, actually, you know what? Let's, let's go back in here. Switch it to the starship inventory. Um, do we need this right this second? Nah, we don't need it right this second. We don't need the Corvex casing. Silver we will keep. Mordite meat we'll keep. We need the navigational data for later on. Okay. I think that's all I want to sell. Let's save the game real quick. So, uh, all my progress of selling is, uh, not gone away here. And then we're gonna... I'm going to show you what I get from my activated Indian farm. Let me... Yeah, let's go back there right now. Okay, so... We're in system... What system are we in again? So I know what to come back to. Storm next to. Okay. Activated Indian farm. Okay. So we'll go see how much money we can make. Okay, here we go. Finally there. Okay, so we need to empty our inventory out. Oh, storm's clearing, good. Can any of this stuff go over there? Okay, which... Which fault was the right one? I don't like how you have to scroll over these to get rid of the exclamation points. Okay, so, wow. Um, close vault one. What vault number is that? Please clip onto the other side of, it's not clipping on the other side here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just need the vault to be placed down so I can uh, access it. Yeah, this has got all the the impulse beams, why not the jade piece? What else that can go in there? Did I get any meat? No, I don't see any meat. Let's make sure we're not having any meat in the cargo. Okay, anything in here that I want to get rid of? Now. 
Okay, so we can... Um, what else do we get rid of here? Ferrite dust can go to the high capacity inventory. That can go to the high capacity. We're going to get more of that. That stays here. We need a technology slot for that one. That can go to the high capacity tank. We'll put that. Put these microprocessors away. Or piper cork we can put away. Drop pod coordinates we're using. I don't need the nav gank data. And then the cobalt can go to the high capacity. And I want to install this. There we go. Um, Starship. Mordite, meat. Just shove this stuff off into the uh, storage container real quick. That can go to the high capacity tank. That can go to the storage tank. That can go to the storage tank. And we'll keep 20 of those on us. Okay. Chip landed on the landing pad like it should have. Get rid of this tree out of my uh, face here. Make sure that it went into the right spot. Okay, okay so I'm setting at 107 million. 107 million, right? This is full. So I'm going to take that into my inventory. And I don't care about the markup value, whatever, you know, well, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. So I'm setting at 107 million, right? So if I sell this, I can sell this right now with a negative 11% for 57 million units. So, I mean, that's quite a bit of money, to tell you the truth. We're going to try to sell it at a trade station and see what we get. Um, yeah, we want X2. Warp there. But 57 million, that's just for going to bed, coming back, and waking up, and you know what I mean? Because your miners work even though you're not playing the game. The game is always in motion. Like I... Like, um... Yeah. Always in motion. What's the... What's the markup value I'm getting right here? Negative 12. So I was better off in my own system. Whatever. That puts us at 164 million. Good to know. Hit the window key on accident. Whoops, no. I'm trying to get another grave. So that I can go get the multi-tool I want. wonder if he'll tell me where a grave is. I approach the traveler. Their skin is translucent as they are not really truly there. Another traveler. Hmm. But we speak. We should speak. With faith, not all dreams are idle. Group, look at this, huh? Look at the object. Huh. All I have to do is believe and have faith, not in a deity, not some universe tyrant, no. Isn't this right in front of me? Okay, so, are you going to tell me where your grave is? My friends, what happened to my friends? Please, I need to leave the place. Return to the fleet. There's so little time. That's where they came from. 
Gobbler in an opposite direction to a place of interest. I am going to go do that right now. Okay. Let's see where the grave is. On this planet. E2, huh? Go over here and see what... And might be on the moon behind it. We'd be sending back to the same grave that we went to. I hope not. I hope this is a new grave site. Yeah, we've already scanned all the creatures on this planet. Yeah, we cleaned up our inventory. Nice. We can grab more stuff. Just hit me. No game. You having a laugh at me now? Vortex, our subterranean relic. I scanned all the creatures on this planet. Found Kaza in the seas of Kaza. Signal let us there in search of Kaza, pursued by Kaza. This we couldn't. I wasn't done by Kaza. So much more to see, so much more to. Fallen travel grave is marked by a glyph, an emphasis on some ancient technology. Extract glyph. I obtained the glyph and with the ability to travel to unknown worlds, I leave the fallen traveler in peace. Right, so we're 12 more relics and we can, uh, and yeah, so this is where I'm going to. Well, this video everyone kind of all over the place today but uh what we'll do in the next episode is explore the next planet in this sector and see if we can't find all the creatures and whatnot so i do hope that you have enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you storm that like button and if you're new here subscribe for more daily videos okay everyone take care and bye bye